Hey everyone, it's Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. Today I would like to talk about the benefits of group art. I'm not sure if you have tried group art with your toddlers and preschoolers yet, but if you haven't, add it to your list of must do's this school year. It is one of my favorite ways to get the children together and it teaches them how to share space, how to move around, how to talk to each other and share materials. There are so many benefits and it can be done year round. I like to start the year off doing group art because we're just getting to know each other. I like to do it throughout the year because as the children are getting to know each other more, they are creating more dialogue with each other. And I love doing it at the end of the year when now they really have a handle on how it works and they're collaborating and working together to create whatever it is they want to create. So let me give you some tips on how to put together group art. The first thing is you want to have a big sheet of whatever. In this case, it's going to be paper. And a tip, make sure that you tape the paper down because as the children are moving around, they're going to push that paper and it's going to slide and it's going to frustrate them, might even fall off the table. And we know where that goes. So tape your piece of paper down onto the table. Another tip is remove the chairs. That is, that, ma that makes the group activity that much more fun. I, if the table is against the wall, I pull it out, I remove all the chairs, and that way the children can walk around the table as they do the art. This is a great activity for children who don't normally like to sit down, who might have an extra dose of energy, and so this way they can keep on moving as they paint. So here's a, an example of a group activity that we did several times this year that our children loved, and that is using rollers. You can, get, you can use brayers, you can use these kind of rollers here that have different textures, or they might have some kind of an object on them, whatever. You just want to make sure that they roll. Then my next tip is put your paint and squeeze bottles. Now, where I teach, our main storage room is downstairs and our paint, because it's more economical this way, is purchased in gallon containers. I do not want to lug those gallon containers up here to our classroom every single time I need paint. So what I do is I get these squeeze bottles. You can find these in the kitchen section. They're on Amazon, wherever. Just, um, I like to make sure, of course, that they're clear so you can see what color it is and you can also see when you need to fill them up again. So I fill them all the way to the top, keep them in my cabinet, and as they start getting low, I take the squeeze bottles downstairs, fill them up again. And that way, they're ready to go. If you don't want to purchase them and you happen to have some liquid dish soap, that works too. This is a recycled liquid dish soap container that works wonderfully. I like this one because it's really sturdy and the spout opens and closes so it keeps it fresh. So when you're doing the art activity, get your rollers out. I have the children sit down first on the carpet in our circle time area and I tell them what we're going to do. I tell them that we're going to be rolling paint or we've done this with cars. We've actually driven cars through um, paint. We have used paint brushes. We've used scrubbies. We've done this with, um, we've stamped using stampers all around. So what you do is you just squeeze your paint on and you do it in little puddles in different sections of the paper. So you just do little puddles, different sections, just like this, that way, it starts being evenly distributed when they walk around. Then you call them up to the table and they get their roller and then they start rolling or whatever tool you're using, they start moving the paint around. And you can encourage them to walk around the table. Now at first it's a little hard for them to get, but we just keep practicing. We go one way, then we go another way. Another thing you can do that we love is turn on some music. And then when the music stops, everyone stops. And then when the music starts, they go again. And then when the music stops, they stop. That's a great way for them to work on listening skills while they're doing this group art project. And then when you're finished with something like this, you let it dry. And I always like to hang it up on our wall so the children can see it. And then at that point, 
You can either cut it up into individual pieces to put in their cubbies to take home, or you can just recycle your paper, whatever you want to do. Another fun group activity is using Canvas. This is a hit. And actually, we did this two different days. The first day, we actually did this on an easel. So it was a group activity with just a few children as they did this on the easel. Then we put it flat on the table and then we called other children over and they used various different little sponges and rollers and things to put more paint on. Whatever you do, doesn't matter. The point is you're having another big piece of canvas, a big large area that they can work together. And I love doing canvas pieces because I love to decorate our class with um, things that the children have made rather than so much commercial uh, posters and such. So canvas is another good one. And what you, again, what you use for your group activity, it could be anything. You can take cars, like I said, you can take Legos that have wheels on them, they can run those through there. We've done, um, we've gotten farm vehicles during our farm unit and they've driven those through paint on paper. We have um, taken like different shape stampers and done that. We've taken um, some paper tubes and they walked around stamping the paper tubes. Whatever you want, whatever you have on hand, and then you have your nice big group project. And again, this is a great way for the children to learn how to work together in a shared space during your art activity. Thanks for watching.